Okay, we have talked about how to name an acid and base, how to write a formula for an acid and base. So let's talk about the different types of acids and bases. And the first type is the Arrhenius acid or base, and it is named after uh, the guy that came up with the concept. And so the Arrhenius model says that an acid contains a hydrogen and ionizes to produce hydrogen ions in an aqueous solution. So if you have an acid, there has to be a hydrogen present. When you put it in water, you're going to get hydrogen ions. So hydrochloric acid, when you put it in water, it's going to separate into hydrogen and chloride. Arrhenius model says that a base has to contain a hydroxide group and will dissociate or ionize, same thing, break apart, to produce hydroxide ions in an aqueous solution. So according to Arrhenius, a base has to have an OH group, and when it breaks apart in water, it's going to give you uh, hydroxide ions. So sodium hydroxide has an OH group here. When you put it in water, it's going to separate into sodium and hydroxide. The only problem with this is that things like ammonia, which is NH3, do not have an OH group, but they are definitely a base. Um, so it is a base. It will make hydroxide ions, but it, it doesn't contain a hydroxide group. So that brings us to the Bronsted-Lowry acids and bases. And the Bronsted-Lowry model says that an acid is a proton donor and a base is a proton acceptor. So if we use our general formula for an acid, HX, and we put this in water, this H is going to come off of the acid and attach to the water, giving you an anion, and then the water is going to accept that proton. So the acid that's here the acid is separating and it's donating this proton. It's giving it away. And that proton is going to come over and it's going to bond to this water group. And this, you need to know what this H3O plus called, is called. It's hydronium. And so since this water is accepting that proton, it's going to be acting as the base, okay, because it gained, uh, it gained the proton. When it comes over here, we went to H3O+, plus, so we picked up a proton. Okay, so if we have HX plus water, that means that this is our acid, HX is our acid, because it's going to give away that proton, and the water is going to be our base. So you'll notice this reaction is reversible, so it goes both ways. So when we go in the reverse direction, whoever gives up their proton is going to be what's called the conjugate acid. And whoever accepts that proton is going to be the conjugate base. Okay, so a conjugate acid is a species produced when a base accepts a proton from an acid. So we said that water here was our base. And when it picks up a proton, it becomes H3O+. Plus. So this is going to be our conjugate acid. And a conjugate base is a species that is produced when an acid donates a proton to a base. So if this is our acid, it's going to lose that proton, become just an ion, and be the conjugate base. So if we look at some examples, we have HF plus H2O reversibly yields H3O plus plus the fluoride ion. So we need to figure out who is donating the proton first. So when you compare your reactant side to your product side, who gave away their proton? And that's this guy. That makes this the acid. So if this is the acid, then water has to be the base. And so this acid becomes this 
So this is the conjugate base. The base becomes this. So this is the conjugate acid. If we have ammonia in water, reversibly yielding ammonium plus hydroxide. So again, compare your reactants to your products. Which one of these guys gave away their proton? And that's going to be water. So water is going to be the acid. Once you've identified the acid, everything else kind of falls into place. If this is the acid, then the NH3 has to be the base. And the acid is going to become the conjugate base. The base becomes the conjugate acid. So this brings us to amphoterism, and amphoterism is the reactivity of a substance with both acids and bases, and it can act as an acid in the presence of a base, and it can act as a base in the presence of an acid. So water is amphoteric. We saw that it can act as either an acid or a base depending on uh, what it's around.